Hello, I'm Greg Rucke at Rucke Mods, and in today's video we will be talking about ProtoWeb and WarpStream and how to get it running on your vintage Mac in honor of the PowerPC Challenge 2024. Now there are no tutorials online on how to do this, even on ProtoWeb, and uh, this is, I, I figured it out all by myself, which wasn't easy. Um, and it's a little challenging. I am officially now a WarpStream partner, which translates into if you have a vintage computer that you can watch WarpStream on, you can watch me, which is awesome. So we will be demonstrating that. But Max, okay, trying to get ProtoWeb to work on a Mac is a bit of a challenge. Uh, I did get it to work though, and OS 9, you can get ProtoWeb to work, but you can't get WarpStream to work. No matter what I tried, it just would not work. But OS 10, as you can see right here, I managed to get it to work. So we will be showing you how to get it to work in both OS's for ProtoWeb and WarpStream for OS 10. So let's get to it. Hi, Greg from Five Hours in the Future here. I've already completely edited and uploaded this video for a Friday release and released it to all my supporters and stuff. And as I was going to bed, I decided to work on the thumbnail and I stumbled across the fact that WarpStream actually does support OS 9 streaming. Yeah. So everything I say at the beginning of the video and the ending of the video is not true because I've already filmed it and it didn't work. Well, I know how to make it work now and we're going to be splicing this into the video. So you're going to see a weird jump cut probably. Uh, first off, we're going to have to go on OS 10 and download the files we need, and then we'll jump over to OS 9 and make it work. And what happened here was Warpstream uh, uses ProtoWeb to download Flash Player. Flash Player it downloads is Flash Player 5. All the browsers that you can get for this. If they come with Flash Player, they come with Flash Player 5. You need Flash Player 7, the very last OS 9 supported Flash Player. That makes ProtoWeb work. So we got to download Flash Player 7, put it onto OS 9, and it should work. So yeah, let's jump over to the OS 10 machine here, download everything and make it work. I'm tired. All right, so to make OS 9 work with Flash Player and make everything work in Warp Stream, you're going to need Flash Player 7 from Macintosh Garden, and I'll also add a link to that in the description below. Uh, yeah, once you download that from here on OS 10 uh, or in a modern system of some type, you'll also have to unzip it because it's a bin file and the OS 9 uh, stuff at Expander doesn't tend to uh, open bin files very well for some reason, at least in my experience. So once you have it downloaded, you want to unzip it. Okay, there it is. What we will want to do is move it to our OS 9 drive make sure it's on there and now we just need to reboot into OS 9 alright so we just need to open up our 9.22 drive install flash player and it only apparently works in Internet Explorer so we will use that hit install hit OK it will install and then I'd recommend restarting it just to make sure everything works so let's see here and welcome back to OS 9 by the way if you need a program to unarchive the flash player installer if it's not going to unarchive with stuff at expander in OS 9 I will leave a link to stuff at expander for Macintosh garden he also included the key in the description or in the comments section so that will help you out but we are now in OS 9. We have the Flash Player installed and everything should work. Now, of course, video playback will only work in Internet Explorer 5. If we open up Internet Explorer, 
we have everything already set up with the server information. That's how we get the Apple website right here. So this is the 96 website. How did we do that? How did we get it set up? Well, if we go over to Edit Preferences, scroll down to Proxies right here, and then go to Settings here, we can type in waybackprotoweb.org and type in the port number and hit OK. Then we hit Use Proxy for All, and it will fill all this up. Hit OK. And then we just have to go to inode.com, and there's ProtoWeb. It works fully. Everything that would work in ProtoWeb should work fine. In fact, we just saw the Apple page. If we go to videos, it should play a video. Here's my most recent upload. We open that up. So what do these two Macs And it's that simple. Well, it actually pretty much plays video. In fact, these two 20-year-old Macs... And you can scroll through it, saying, scrub it, and it just works. <laughs> That's awesome. And I wish I had known about this hours and hours ago. But yeah, so we've got all that set up. That's how you set up Internet Explorer. We're now going to jump cut to the old recording of me setting up Classilla, and then we'll go into OS X. How do we get it to work in Classilla? Now with Classilla, when I um, was trying to work with Netscape Navigator 7, it uh, did not um, like it, and it uh, messed up all the buttons, so I would not try to, uh, you know, try Netscape Navigator 7, although it seemed to be the only one that kind of worked. <laughs> But now all my buttons are screwed up, and no matter what I do, I can't fix it. So uh, I'll have to probably reinstall OS 9 again. Oh well. But anyway, to get this to work, you have to go over to Advanced. Uh, after you go Edit Preferences, you go to Advanced, and then you go to Proxies, and you fill in HT HTTP, FTP, and Gopher with the same setup as you would with... Um, Internet Explorer, hit OK, and then you got ProWeb. It just it works. As we can see here, if we try to open up a video, of course it won't do anything. It says missing plugin for that, and that's actually the uh, that's nice. That's the uh, media player plugin. It really doesn't work now. You know, Flash Player doesn't work, but like if we did before, we go to Apple.com, it will just load up the 96 one like um, it was 1996, so that's pretty neat. So that's everything there is to know for OS 9. Now let's get into OS 10 where it gets quite more complicated. All right, so welcome to Mac OS 10. We are currently in Tiger, but all of these instructions should in theory work on any Mac OS 10 that works on PowerPC, uh, although you may have to change your Flash Player version if it's an older version, but these instructions should work for Tiger and Leopard and maybe even Panther. So what we need to do first is download Flash Player 10.1, which was the most recent version of Flash Player that ran on PowerPC. I will leave a link to this from Macintosh Garden in the description, and you will need to use the second download link there. Download it, install it. Once you have it installed, we'll close this out for right now, we don't need that. Once you have it installed, you'll want to restart your computer, reboot it, get it back up and running. And then that's it. But you'll also probably need a copy of Interweb PowerPC because, well, you need a modern browser to access Macintosh Garden now, so that might be a little drawback if you don't have it. Um, if you're running Leopard, the latest version of Safari, if you're running uh, Sorbet, should allow you to download Interweb PowerPC without any issue. But if you're in Tiger, it's, it's more difficult to download through Safari. Now, the next things we have to do to get this to work uh, after you've gotten the system rebooted, 
We are in Shuriken Tiger, so the home screen's a little different in Safari, but uh, that's about it. Uh, Safari really doesn't have many other updates and stuff. So, how do we get it to work with ProtoWeb, you may ask? Um, it's actually not that hard once you get Flash Player installed. Um, I, at first, didn't think it worked at all, but uh, after, of course, I restarted it, it worked fine. So what you need to do is go to, over to Safari, go to Preferences, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Security and hit Enable Plugins and Enable Java, which are both disabled in Tiger. You enable those, and then you go over to Advanced. Then you go to Proxies here, hit Change Settings. It will bring up your default proxies. Now these proxies are system-wide. So if you ever need to use your modern day interweb power PC, uh, you're going to want to disable these. Otherwise, they'll always default to protowebs, websites which, well, aren't modern. Of course, they're all backed up, uh, old versions of websites. So anytime you actually need to use modern day web, you need to disable these. But anyway. What you need to do first is make sure you have your internet connection that you're going to want to do the proxies on. Right now I have it plugged directly into Ethernet, so we'll use Ethernet. And then what we need to do is do FTP proxy, fill it in right there, then web proxy, fill it in right there, and then we need to go down to go for proxy and fill it in right there, hit apply now. And then you go to Safari, and node.com, there we are. We are in protoweb.com, and then we can go over, and we can actually use Warp Stream, and it will actually work. So what do these two Macs have in common? Believe it or not, they're pretty much the same system. In fact, these two 20-year-old Macs are quite similar to... And it works pretty well with Flash Player. Uh, there's one little drawback. For some reason, the pop-out window will not work. So if you uh, open up the pop-up window, it will give you an error that uh, the JavaScript's turned off and it just won't work. Um, hopefully someone will figure out why that doesn't work. but. I mean, it works otherwise, and it just... So what do these two Macs have in common? It works like it did back in the day on YouTube. And they're also I don't even know how to begin to... And you can it. scroll it, and you can do... It just it works. But the drive works. And I didn't break the video card. Which so is pretty neat, side. too. And since so, I am a Warpstream partner, here's my channel. If we actually go back to the main Warpstream page, and you go over to Feature Videos from Partners and hit See More. This is all the current members on Warpstream. And there I am right there. You open it up. And all of my channel videos are on Warpstream except the live ones. Any of the recorded and uploaded ones are on there and they all work. So in 2005, Sonnet decided that people have these G pretty neat towers now, but there's not enough room for storage. So yeah, so came up that's how you get this to work and everything. And then when you need to go back and just go back to change settings and uh, you go disable the proxies, hit apply now, and then you can open up Interweb Power PC. And you can go to a modern day website. And it will crash because Interweb Power PC you can't open Apple.com and I forgot about that. Oops. Let's try that with a different modern day website. <laughs> and there you go. 
it works just like it did before. And then if you want to go back, uh, this should actually in theory work with every, the flash plugin won't work, so that won't work. But if you re-enable everything, I haven't actually tried this, so this could be interesting. See if it will load. There's 1996apple.com. We're back in the old one. So, and then we can just go back. And I'd say let's reload Apple, but like I said, for some reason, interweb always crashes on Apple's modern website. So, go figure. But yeah, that's how you do it. So let's wrap up the video. ProtoWeb and uh, Warpstream works quite well on these systems, especially in OS X. Um, and it should work in any Mac OS. Uh, any Mac that's running G3 and later should work fine. Might be a little slower on some of the slower ones. We're currently using the world's fastest eMac, so it's kind of a, got me a little an advantage there. But it works great, as you can see. And I hope today's video helps you set up classic Mac OS and Mac OS X to do this. Uh, for ProtoWeb, for Mac OS uh, Classic, and for ProtoWeb and Warpstream on OS X. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget that I do have a Patreon if you'd like to support me. There'll be a link at the end of the video and also in the description below. And I also have channel memberships if you want to hit the join button below. And you can see these, day, these videos a day early, sometimes earlier than that. Uh, and it helps me out if you'd like to support me. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, and this has been a Rocky Mods video.